welcome to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I have with me today Mr. Rajesh Kurian. He's the Director of Marketing at Walk Karo. Rajesh, welcome to Pitch Brand Talk. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Rajesh, just I would like to get my pronunciation correct. It's Walk Karo, right? Because a lot of people tend to say it as Walk Karo. Yeah, yeah, it's derived from the word Walk Karo or Walk Around. That is how it was coined. So Walk Karo. Okay. Walk is there in that uh, tag, uh, the brand name. Okay, great. Rajesh, let's just first get started. You have signed on the actor Varun, Bhav, uh, Varun Dhawan as your brand ambassador. What was the insight that uh, behind this move? Varun Dhawan represents the young India. So, so currently we are coming out with a, a new category of products, especially in EVA. The clocks type of footwear as well as sports shoes, which actually is consumed by youth. So, uh, Varun Dhawan gives a push for those categories uh, like EVA, the trendy EVA, soft EVAs, as well as sport shoe categories. Uh, so, by when are you looking to, uh, you know, launch the sport shoes categories? In a sport shoes category, both the categories are already there in the market. We have uh, this uh, EVA category we have launched in the last year. Sport shoe okay. also given an additional push uh, during the year with new, uh, more SKUs into the market. So these products are already there. This uh, the branding effort actually would give another push uh, for this category in the market. Sure. So how are you looking to leverage uh, Varun's uh, presence, and what is the estimated impact in uptake you believe will happen? Uh, well, we have we have actually targeted Varun the uh, the TVC launch during this festival season. So we would be we are we have planned to launch two commercials uh, TV commercials. One of them is already uh, one of them is actually today one was I mean we have released one. It's in digital platform we already already done today morning. And the first campaign what is going to happen this festival season is that of Kerala Onam Onam campaign. Also Onam campaign will be one of the uh, advertisement a humorous advertisement uh, with Varun Dhawan in the TVC. And that would be followed by the Diwali campaign, which is going to start in the market, uh, especially in Tamil Nadu and the Chisam market. Be before the Diwali, actually, Durga Puja campaign will be there in Bengal, West Bengal. Uh, what is the media mix? Can you just talk about the media mix that you will be, you know, using? Or how has your media mix evolved, say, in the last three uh, years? Because you mentioned that you first gone on the digital platform. So are you now digital first or rather what is the, uh, how does each medium play a role for you? Are you asking specifically with this Varun, ca Varun Dhawan campaign? Uh, sure, or? let's go with the, let's go with the Varun campaign. Varun campaign would be we, the first push would be happening in the DVC as well as in digital. Then all the releases what we have planned during the, uh, uh, the festival season that is next, maybe till November. So all will have this Varun Dhawan's image uh, being used. This is all the uh, vernacular uh, prints as well as the magazines. So okay. Uh, I, sure. I also want to know uh, what is your biggest market? Uh, will I be right in saying South is your biggest? That's where you have your biggest presence. And which areas or, or cities are you looking at going forward to drive growth? Since the company started uh, uh, the manufacturing and marketing from South, South obviously has become a, a stronger market compared to other regions. Uh, so in South itself, uh, Tamil Nadu is a big market for us uh, and followed by the other uh, four states, AP, Telangana, Karnataka and Kerala. Uh, we we are a late entrant to the other market. Uh, that doesn't mean that that market we are Actually, it's just these market, your market with a smaller base is growing much faster than the southern market because we okay. are located well. So, so that is happening happening in the north east as well as in uh, south. Okay, so, I sorry, just north east as well as uh, west. Sorry. Okay, just based on this, I do have a uh, I have a follow up question. Like you mentioned, you're a brand which is uh, started from the south, uh, and you've used in the past Amir Khan. And now you're using Varun Dhawan. So this is the strategy which you're using to bolster your brand's presence and give it vis visibility in the North Indian market. So that's your strategy, right? To yeah. penetrate. 
True. In North-South market, we need a, a, an endorsement with a celebrity because many uh, the brand familiarity may not be there in some pockets. Okay. And uh, the other thing uh, which I would really like to know is about your distribution. How is your distribution, firstly, your on-ground distribution spread? So distribution, we have the manufacturing, 14 manufacturing plants catering into 22 depots. 22 depots to 750 distributors reaching a lakh and a half uh, retailers. That is the outbound supply. And uh, what's your digital strategy currently? Digital strategy, we have a reach uh, targeted campaign. Uh, so we use Insta as the, I mean, uh, for the better reach, Insta gives a very good reach. And we also use the other Google platforms like um, YouTube. Uh, also for carrying out the product related ads. Uh, now, when you're talking about, I just also would like to know is how much of your sales are coming from offline and online? And is there a push in your presence in market places? See, uh, since we are into mass market category, predominantly most of the offerings are in the uh, sub 500, uh, sub 500 uh, price range. So sub 500 products, the viability of doing an online business is Minimal because the, the volumetric shipping cost, the platform charges, the return, whatever we, we, we have, will just uh, break even at a price point like 350, 400 onwards only. So it is not very attractive um, as far as the commercial viability is concerned. But definitely, it is a media medium to reach out to the consumer to make them aware of, about the products. So the strategy is to use. The digital platforms, uh, the marketplace digital platform on website to make consumer aware about the product because this is a portfolio business where we have maybe 1200 designs. So, consumers should be aware that there is a such and such design available. So, it is a tool to communicate to the consumer about the portfolio what you have, but transaction wise, it may not be commercially attractive for a price uh, in the range of 400 500. But for a sport shoe and all, it is viable at all because those are sold at a higher price like 800, 900 or 1000 rupees. Now, price has been always your strength also because it's very affordable. And even when you mention sports shoes, 800, 900 rupees, that's also affordable. So mm -hmm. uh, would you by any chance, are they looking at increasing the price or is it still you're not looking at, increase the at, at increasing the price? See, the broader strategy, Indian, uh, if you look at the Indian market, the bottom of the pyramid market is very big. We are actually entering the bottom of the market where the price is a very sensitive thing. So we would like to offer consumer the best product at a very competitive price than uh, put a premium over there because the, 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 the demand actually tapers off as the, as the price increases. So we are focused mostly on the mass segment i can say up to find larger portfolio offering is at uh, 500 and there is a, a certain amount at maybe 500 to 1000 so beyond 1000 we have very limited offerings okay now you know you uh, uh, you just also mentioned you know like uh, you had mentioned the chappal which is or uh, slippers that's your biggest uh, uh, mm -hmm. That was your uh, product which you started out with. So now, which is the, if you look at each of the segments separately, how much uh, are you getting from, say, the chappal slippers? How much is the uh, sports category contributing? Can you give us an idea about that? See, br see broadly, uh, we, what we say is open footwear and closed footwear. So all this chappal, sandal, whatever it is, is comes under open footwear. So for us, more than 90% actually comes from open footwear. Okay. And the rest only comes from the uh, close footwear. Close footwear. Mm -hmm. Is there any, you mentioned also bottom of the pyramid. So mm -hmm. are you focused, uh, so how would you define your uh, target group? Is it uh, primarily or looking at going to tier 2, tier 3 also? Or how do you, if I were to ask you to define your target group, what would you say? So broadly, if you look at the SEC class, it is SEC, BCD is the class what okay. we are targeting at. Okay. Now, festive season is right around the corner and you mentioned that you're coming up with uh, with a new TVC also featuring uh, uh, Varun Dhawan. What are your plans for the festive season besides this? 
See, every festive season, we will be launching a uh, lot of new articles, new designs getting lost, and uh, new colors uh, also get, uh, getting lost during this season. So, portfolio offering actually gets a, a, a fresh face during this festival season. Okay, and uh, I just have uh, my final question. In the financial year 2023-24, uh, Wokkaro achieved a turnover of rupees 2140 crores. What can we expect looking ahead? So we are looking for a, something like a 15 plus uh, growth in the top line. Hopefully, I think we'll be able to achieve uh, in this year. And any new areas you're looking to venture in? Any new categories? See, the new category, what we have, we have actually recently added this Hawaii as a category we have added. Okay. Eva Soft Eva, which is actually trending in the market. Also, we have actually increased the uh, offerings. Then sports shoe also, we are actually more designs are being offered. Okay. And my final question is very interestingly, you have the word walk in your brand name. Walk Taro. And you know, all experts say that walking is probably the best exercise. And we are now, a lot of people are now also looking at a healthier lifestyle. So, how do you promote a healthier lifestyle as a brand, specifically as you have walk itself in your brand name? Yeah, that is exactly the point what we are driving as a brand. So, brand, brand, POV, if you see, it is walk, 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 walk with walk. That is a brand point of view. And in, in line with that, actually, we are associating with marathons, uh, walkathons. Then even we have actually created walking clubs also in some places wherein we are a, uh, we as a brand actually help people to form groups uh, to take up a morning walk rather than walking individually, uh, collectively. So uh, collectively walking is more interesting and more engaging. Correct. So that type of walking club also we have. Uh, formalized in some places and we are working on it to take it to more cities and uh, Koyamutur uh, there is a marathon which is uh, we have a pretty good one with uh, close to 20,000 participation so current uh, this year it is uh, planned during uh, mid of December so we are associated with the ma marathon so tight, the Koyamutur marathon title sponsor is Wokuru I mean, I think for anybody looking to lose weight, when you have a company with you to walk, especially that's a big motivation factor. Thank you so much for your time and uh, I hope to meet you soon. Thank you. Thank you.